Welcome back to another installment of the Frantic Expedition. Uh, today is another water heater update, hopefully probably the last in this iteration. So uh, I made a couple improvements recently uh, that I think have kind of really solved nearly all of our issues with uh, heating, certainly, uh, and a few other things. So we added this, this copper coil. Uh, now this I just painted black. Um, I put a piece of glass over a small wooden frame, um, and then I attached uh, piping that comes into the bottom of the tank that I'll show you in just a moment. But um, the, the problem that we have, the only remaining problem is that we don't have it automated, so we have to come on and switch it on and off, because if we don't do that, uh, the sun will actually boil off all the water inside the coil. It gets, it gets uh, extremely, extremely hot. So what we do is we circulate from the bottom of the tank into the coil, and then it's basically just a straight line from the tank to the coil and then to the top of the tank again. So it's a little bit of an intermediary uh, for the coil or for the uh, pump to to process the water, the hot water. So we find that this dramatically, dramatically increases the efficiency of the system. Um, it's uh, it's actually so warm that we had to add a couple other components. So this is some of the um, piping changes we made to the bottom of the tank. Uh, we installed this T intersection here uh, to make basically two different valves for the coil. One is a bypass, so this entirely bypasses the coil, and this is the coil itself. So um, right now the coil is open and the bypass is closed, and so this way when the water comes off the bottom of the tank it goes through the coil first and then to the top of the tank. When we want to just turn over the tank, we simply just switch these around, coils closed, bypass open, then the water goes from the bottom of the tank to the top of the tank through the pump. But the advantage of this is, is that we can um, run the coil during the middle of the day when the, when the water is probably the warmest and the sun is the warmest. Um, we can run the coil for about a minute and then switch it, turn the entire tank over for 25 minutes. And 25 minutes gives us enough time for the coil to recharge. We do another slug of water from the coil into the tank that's very hot, um, and, uh, and then we stop and, and 30 minutes later we do it all over again. Um, the, the water from the coil is probably around 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so uh, we could do about maybe five or six of those a day, and that's more than enough water for the uh, hot water for the whole tank. Um, the coil itself probably holds somewhere between a liter and a liter and a half of water, which doesn't sound like much, but it's very, very hot compared to the rest of the water, so it, it, uh, it mixes in well. Okay, now if you saw our first, um, first water heater video, you saw our friend the cistern. Uh, it's back. So the coil is actually so efficient that the water from the tank is actually warmer than is comfortable. So uh, in order to solve that issue and several others, we brought the cistern back in. Now the old system had the, uh, a, a pressure release tube coming off the top of the tank into the shower. We just interrupted that with this guy right here. So this holds 250 liters of water. Um, so this not only gives us the chance to mix it with a little colder water, we mix the hot water with colder water to make it more comfortable, but it also solves two other issues. One is that every once in a while the water in uh, Yanawara is cut off, so this gives us about two days of water to flush toilets uh, and other things. Uh, and then also we, we had a bucket down uh, in the shower to collect water and that was kind of a little fiddly to work with. And so this just collects all the extra water because there is a slow leak from the, from the tap. And so this solves all three of those issues in one, um, makes for a very comfortable system. So there's one other addition that we made uh, in order to incorporate the tank, the, the cistern into the hot water system. Okay, so now with the incorporation of the cistern, we had to bring in an extra pipe. This pipe before was just kind of hanging about here, emptying into a bucket below. So now we've hooked it into the side of where the shower head is. So we have here the hot water uh, valve, and then here we have a cold water valve. So it's almost like a normal shower, almost. Um, actually works really slick. Um, also gives us a little bit more uh, water pressure when we need it. So... Yeah, that's all we have. 
Uh, that's the final iteration of the, the water heater probably at this location where we're, we're living now. Um, it works very well. We're very happy with it. It's very efficient. even works on some cloudy days with coil. Um, so if you have any questions, comments below. We're happy to uh, answer questions or take any suggestions. Bye-bye.